So you want to get a Factor 55 flat link or a winch hook, but you have a non-removable winch hook. I'm going to show you how to safely remove your hook and install your flat link. So stay tuned. All right, guys, before we get started, I do have to address a couple of things. If you purchased an off-brand one or a replica or something that looks like a flat link but is not made by Factor 55, do yourself a favor and everybody else around you, do not install it on your winch for safety reasons. They are not rated. They are not tested. They're just made to look like the flat link. Actually, the eBay ones even use the picture from Factor 55, but they ship from China. So be careful what you purchase. Purchase it directly from Factor 55 or their authorized retailers. Factor 55 flat link is manufactured in the USA and is tested to the ultimate failure point of over 40,000 pounds. The max load rating is 16,000 pounds and they actually include the copy of the testing certificate. So the eBay one might kind of look like the Factor 55 but the aluminum alloys and the alloys in the double shear pin are not the same to produce the same strength. The last thing you want is a snap winch line coming at you or somebody else. Now that we got that out of the way, now this does work on steel cables and a roller fair lead as well as a synthetic rope with an aluminum fair lead. This will neatly fold and stay like this. It replaces the open end hook and gives you a safer option to run closed screw type D shackle on here. You don't have any openings. It is a closed system so you are actually a lot safer winching in a situation with this versus a hook that has all the tension put on one side of the hook. Your option is to either rebraid the line or simple enough, we're gonna cut this. But when we are cutting this, we have to protect this line at all cost. All right, so to protect our nylon rope, I am using a thick piece of shrink wrap tubing, wrapping it around the loop on the rope. And then we're gonna use electrical tape to secure it in place. To protect the rest of the rope, I am going to be using the Smitty Built original line jacket that's, that's already on the winch. I am going to be cutting right on this indentation here. Now that I have one end cut, I'm gonna let this completely cool off so I can roll it over and do the other side. All right, so the next step, we have to remove the retainer ring. And we're gonna pull out the double share pin. Slide this in here. Reinstall the, reinstall the pin and reinstall the retainer ring. Now, always make sure that that retainer ring is um, set into place because if you look inside right now you can see that it's not properly seated just like that and there you have it hook removed and we have our factor 55 flat link installed d-ring shackle inserted through completely closed winching system. I want to thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, make sure you hit the like button, smash the subscribe button, hit the notification bell to find out when I post new videos, and make sure to follow me on Instagram. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.
And last but not least, please do not try to re-weld this and reuse it somewhere else. Only bad things will happen.